Today we are going to discuss a step by step process to crack FANG interviews. So why waiting? Let's get started. These days the supply of software engineers is skyrocketing but the demand is more or less same. So the competition is increasing. What do you need to do? You need to make sure that you outstand among others. First of all, try to understand what companies are expecting from you. These FANG companies and other product based companies are trying to solve some real world problems, the more complicated problems. For which they need intelligent software developers like you to build reliable systems and efficient systems. These companies love problem solvers. So problem solving is one of the core skills these companies are looking for. But how do they test your problem solving skills in interviews? We will see that in a bit. Firstly, we need to understand how do we even apply for these companies. As a first step, you need to build a very strong resume. This is very important point. Along with the projects that you have worked on, you should also mention the impact that you have created by putting some numbers. So what do I mean by that? For suppose, you reduced a latency of an API by 70%. Then you need to put it in the resume. That shows an impact, right? Or say, you improved the query performance or SQL query performance by 30%, 40%. You can mention that. You need to mention these type of numbers, which will be very strong and solid. There are many other resources available in how to build a very strong resume. You can, you can go through them. I can attach a few links in the description box. Assuming your resume is ready by now, how and where to apply? There are different options available for you. Option 1. Go to the career website of the company and apply there. But the chances are very less because lots and lots of people are applying, right? The chance that your resume is getting shortlisted is very less. The option 2 is could be just go and ask for a referral for some friend or someone. If someone gives you a referral, the chances are little higher, but still overall chances are less because these days for the same position many people are referring. So again the chances are less. Option 3. Go by a direct referral. Like ask your friend if his hiring manager is hiring so that your friend go directly to hiring manager and proposes your resume. So the chances are really really good here that you'll get an interview chance or opportunity. Next option could be consultancy. I personally don't prefer this option because it's a two way communication. Consultant is involved in between. The last option or maybe other option could be via finding recruiters in LinkedIn. This is a very tricky option. Either take a LinkedIn premium account and just ping recruiters or just have a free account and try to connect with the recruiters somehow and give you a resume and check out for possible options. Without understanding the rules, how will you play the game? So it is very important for us to understand the interview process. How is the process? What all questions will be asked? How many rounds will be there and etc. This is how the interview process in FANG looks like. Once by luckily, if your resume got shortlisted, recruiter will give you a call and check your compatibility with the role. If he or she is fine with it, then there is a good chance that you will get an online assessment link. Most of the companies these days are conducting online assessment test, which is generally a coding test. Now say you have cleared the test. There are chances that you might even need to go to the phone screening down. Few companies may skip it, few companies will conduct it. So now what is this phone screening round? This phone screening round will generally last for 30 minutes to 50 minutes. It's via phone call. And there's a chance that they might give you a link to code as well. The questions asked here are little less complex or a bit easier generally. In this phone screen round, they ensure that this candidate is eligible for on-site interviews or we can move ahead with this candidate for on-site interviews. If you clear this round, then recruiter will schedule you the full loop. This is where the actual interview starts. So from here onwards, there can be four to five rounds. If you are a senior developer, there can be two rounds of coding for you and two rounds of design for you and maybe a behavioral round. If you are a junior developer, maybe all of the rounds are coding for you. Different companies have different approaches, but in general, this is the approach. So what do I mean by coding and system design rounds? Some of you might be relatively new to these terms. I'll explain them in a bit. Just hang on. Firstly, let's discuss about coding interviews, what they will ask and what are the type of questions and all. They may ask data structures and algorithm related questions and problem solving questions in these type of interviews. In data structures and algorithms, you need to understand very basic things like what are stacks, queues, what is the array, what is the linked list, what is the difference between array and linked list, what is the hash map, what is the set, what are trees, graphs. These are all our basic data structures that you must know about them. 
you should know what is the advantage of each and every data structure and what are the trade-offs and you should know when to use which data structure that's where your game starts once you get there you should also concentrate on few other advanced data structures like tries heaps binary search trees etc these all are essential to crack fang interviews you must know all these things majorly advantages trade-offs and when to use which data structure is this is very very important other important topics can be recursion dynamic programming greedy algorithms and etc if there is enough interest in these topics i'm happy to do in the future videos please do comment if so and coming to problem solving this area is very very important you will be able to solve problems by doing practice and by trying to understand the logic behind the problem again as i said before at the end of this video i will show you a small demo of how can you practice and where can you practice and all that stuff just stay tuned but for now just try to understand these terms each problem solving question that you face in interviews will have some pattern you just need to identify that pattern to solve the question there are different patterns available like backtracking two pointer sliding window pattern divide and conquer pattern and different different types again if there is enough interest i am happy to do another video on this please let me know in the comments the other type of questions can be behavioral questions like if you already have some experience they might ask questions like this what is the most complicated design that you have created what are the challenges that you have faced while creating that whether did you have any conflict with your manager or peers while designing some solution or proposing some solution how did you handle it what's the conclusion these are few example questions and there can be lot and lots of questions on these type of topics again if there is enough interest i am happy to do another video on this just let me know in the comment section next system design interviews there can be n number of questions like design instagram design youtube or anything they can ask if there is enough interest i can post a separate video on this but for now i'll cover in a very brief level for system design you need to understand the crux of the system you need to understand systems very deeply if you are a fresh graduate or having couple of years experience 2 to 3 then system design may not be asked in interview questions for you but if you have 2 plus years or 3 years plus experience then you might be asked then you can expect system design as part of your interview process to get started try to understand current system your current project that you are working on identify different components how each component is interacting with each other the most important thing in system design interviews they are looking for is scalability performance reliability consistency and all of this stuff system design can be very complicated if you don't understand things you need to understand basic things like load balancers proxy servers cdns caches databases when to use sql when to use no sql what are the type of no sql dbs and when to use which type what are proxy servers web hooks api gateways for caching mechanism you need to use what is the eviction policy you also need to identify the single point of failures in the system and try to fix them or rather try to avoid them and in future if user base grows for the system you design like number of users going to increase exponentially who will be visiting your system then is your system scalable to that level and how can you scale the system these all things you need to understand and lots and lots of other things maybe i will make a separate video if there is enough interest in comments but as of now to end this video short i will give you some references in description box there are two good references that i found useful first one is grokking the system design interview by educate you and second one is github primer for system design links are in the description box here let me give you some references on how to practice coding there is something called lead code if you are not aware of if this is the first time you are visiting lead code and you want to start practice just click on this explore button you will see a screen something like this so just scroll down and see different stuff you will have here if your interview is nearby and you want to prepare it very fastly then i suggest you can go to this easy collection top interview questions this will be really useful from medium to basic questions easy questions you will have here it covers different different topics as well like arrays strings linked list trees sorting and searching dynamic programming design math and others so this is really good reference i found in this collection also you have easy medium and hard problems so you can just click on this stuff and get started let's say this is the first time you are doing it i suggest you start with the easy collection if you start with medium or hard then you might find it difficult to solve them but if your coding skills are decent and you have basic idea of stuff then maybe just couple of easy questions and medium questions is good start Generally, in most of the FANG-based interviews, you will see ma majority of the questions will be in medium bucket, and minority of the questions will be in hard bucket. So, mix and match of medium and hard collection would be. So, next, going back, 
If you can get the lead code premium account, there are really good features. For example, you can get all the Google interview questions like questions asked in Google interviews, Facebook, Microsoft and Amazon interviews. You can access them and start practicing them. If you're a beginner, then you may choose to start with uh, other questions before moving to these. If you can afford, then I would suggest you take premium and practice these type of questions and leverage all the LinkedIn premium features. But I would suggest stick to basic lead code account till you get uh, some exposure to get started with. There is this problem section where you can filter out different problems. You can filter on the difficulty level. If you're a beginner, start with the easy level questions. If you know some stuff, then start with the medium, then move to hard slowly. Let's say we choose medium. Then again, we have different options like tags, like what type of problem you want to solve. To get started with, maybe you can start with arrays, then move to strings, sorting, greedy, hash tables, depth first search. These are graph related problems, TFS and BFS, trees, binary search, database, blah, blah, blah. I would say pick one topic among these and start practicing. Start from easy questions, move to medium questions. Stay away from hard questions initially till you get some confidence. Because when you start doing hard questions right away, you might lose confidence if you are not able to solve them. Stick with easy medium questions for a month at least if you are a beginner or even more. Assign a couple of days for each topic or one week for each topic if possible as well. It depends on how much time you will be able to contribute. If you are in college, then you can leverage your time. If you are already working in industry and don't have much time, maybe half an hour to one hour each day and good amount of time in weekends you can spend. Let's say we choose arrays. So you see all these type of questions and you can solve one by one. You can sort them in terms of difficulty level, acceptance criteria and all. There are some quick filters available as well like array strings, hash tables directly. If you want to do some dynamic programming related questions, just click on DP. You will see those questions now. Here you go. If you open one question, let's say jump game 2. The question will be something like this. How many people like the question and dislike the question? And you can provide your solution here and there are different options for programming languages. You can select your wish, which language, whichever language you want. For most of the questions, you can see solution here. But for some questions, uh, solution will not be available. Will be only available and accessible to premium accounts. But even for the basic account, you can still access the solution, but in a hacky way. Click on the discuss. People here post solutions. You can see the solution with most votes and C++, Java, everything is there. If you can also search uh, with Java or title and you can find the solution. But to get started, while you're doing some problem or question or in problem solving, try to understand the question first and try to think some time and take some time and try to think how would you solve the question. Take 5, 10, 15 minutes and think how would you solve the question. And pen down your approaches like this is the first approach, this is the second, this is the third, so on. And for each solution that you put up, you need to know the time and space complexity. For whatever logic you are implementing or algorithm you are designing, you must know the space and time complexity. That is very, very important in coding interviews. Once that is done, maybe you can explore the solution here or in the discuss section. Let's say this one. So people will generally give the solution here. You can go over and try to understand what is it. But again, I would suggest first you try yourself to solve the problem. Then only you see the solution if you are not able to get there. Or even if you solve the problem yourself, this really helps because you can see other perspectives, right? If you are solving a problem using arrays and someone else might be solving it using stacks, queues and different data structures and different approach or different logic, you can learn from that. You can learn others perspective as well here. This is really great opportunity. That's how you can get started with this. And there is a discuss section here where you can see the previously asked online assessment questions in Microsoft, Google and other companies. You can just search here the company name and all. And people do post interview experiences here. You can post yours once interview is done or go through these stuff and try to learn how interview will actually happen. The interesting tab is you can also find compensation of others. People do post compensation here. So go check out. So that's it for here. So this is how you can get started with coding. For system design, I kept the links in the description box please do check out. So these are the steps that will help you get started. Commitment and determination is most important. And if there is enough interest, I can dive deep into any of these topics and do separate videos on that. Please do let me know in the comment section. If you are getting ready for your FANG interviews, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell icon to get the notifications. 
see you in the next video